RSV or respiratory syncytial virus is a super common virus that infects people of all ages. And for most of us, it's just an annoying cold, but in babies, especially under the age of six months, it can be much more serious. That's because they have tiny little airways which are way more prone to inflammation and blockages, making it harder to breathe and leading to conditions like bronchiolitis and pneumonia. Now RSV spreads really easily from droplets, from coughs and sneezes, and it can also hang around on surfaces for several hours, making it impossible to avoid altogether. In the last few weeks across parts of Australia, we've seen a rollout of new RSV protection products for babies. And with this rollout has come a lot of confusion about what the products actually are and who is eligible to receive them. Hi, I'm Kat, registered paramedic and founder of Safe Sprouts. In this video, I'm gonna help break down some of this confusion. So nearly every child will have at least one RSV infection by the age of two. It's so common. And what I wanna highlight is that the majority of children are gonna be completely fine. But while most kids are fine, some little ones are more vulnerable to severe cases of RSV than others, and that's who we're trying to protect. Those at higher risk of severe RSV include babies under six months with the highest rates of hospitalizations in the zero to two month old age group, uh, premature or low birth weight babies, children under two with chronic lung and heart conditions, and First Nations infants and young children under the age of two. These new options don't prevent RSV entirely, they're just helping protect against serious illness and hospitalization. There are currently two ways babies can be protected as part of this rollout. The first is through an RSV vaccine during pregnancy, which is given to the mother. And the second is through a monoclonal antibody, which is given directly to the baby after birth. Let's have a look at them both, starting with the RSV vaccine for pregnant mothers. So the RSV vaccine during pregnancy is called a brisvo. A brisvo is offered between 28 and 36 weeks of pregnancy. It helps the mother's body produce antibodies to the RSV, which are then passed to the baby through the placenta. And we call this passive immunization and it helps protect newborns during their most vulnerable early months. It's not recommended after 36 weeks because it actually takes a few weeks after the vaccination for the antibodies to be produced by the mother and then transferred to the baby through the placenta. A breezeway can be given alongside your flu shot, your whooping cough shot, or anti-D. Now, unlike the whooping cough vaccine, a breezeway is not recommended for other adults like partners or carers because it doesn't stop transmission. A breezeway just reduces the baby's risk of severe illness. Clinical trials have showed a 60% reduction in RSV-related hospital admissions for babies in their first months. Common side effects include sore arm, fatigue, headache, and mild muscle aches. Now, you may have seen some chatter online about an RSV vaccine trial that was stopped due to safety concerns, mostly about a possible link to preemie births. That vaccine is not the same one used in this Australian rollout. So a Brisbane is a completely different formulation than the one involved in that trial. And data from the Brisbane clinical trials have shown that there's been no link to premature births. All right. Now let's look at the second option, which is called Bayfortis. Bayfortis is a long acting monoclonal antibody. It's a single injection given to babies after birth and it is not a vaccine. So vaccines train the immune system to make antibodies. Bayfortis skips that step. It's basically giving babies ready-made antibodies right away, which means it starts working immediately, unlike vaccines, which take a couple of weeks to kick in. So Bayfortis is offered to babies whose mums didn't receive a Brisvo, babies born less than two weeks after their mum got the vaccine, babies whose mums were severely immunocompromised during pregnancy, babies that have had medical procedures that reduce antibody transfer, babies and toddlers under two with certain medical conditions. Now, a second dose may be offered to high-risk children aged eight months to 24 months before their next RSV season, even if they had the Bayfortis before or their mum had the vaccine. But for most healthy kids, a second dose isn't needed. Again, the goal is to not stop RSV entirely, it's to prevent severe illness. 
Real world data shows a 70 to 90% reduction in RSV hospitalizations during baby's first RSV season. Common side effects include redness at the injection site, rash or fussiness. Wrapping up, RSV is really common and most kids recover fine, but for some it can be more serious. That's why there's a new rollout to try and lower the rates of severe RSV infections and decrease hospitalizations. The two options currently available are a Brisbo given during pregnancy and Bay Fortis, which is given after the birth. And remember, it's completely okay to ask questions. This is all new and there is a lot of confusion and loud noise and loud talking out there. So chat to your doctor or midwife about what's right for you and your baby. If you found this helpful, please share it with a friend who might need it too. Thanks for watching.